How can you not mention the giant diamond on the front? Okay, so I wasn't gonna talk about it since it's not from the time period that I normally do my videos about, but you guys really wanna hear about it, so let's get a little bit of background on it. So this is the Cullinan 2 Diamond. The Cullinan 2 Diamond is cut from the largest diamond ever found, the Cullinan, which weighed 3,106 carats, which came out to be about 1.33 pounds. It was then cut up into nine major stones and 96 minor ones. So the Cullinan was discovered in a mine in South Africa in 1906 by Frederick Wells and is named Cullinan after Thomas Cullinan, who was the owner of the mine, which you see right here. So they decided to put this diamond up for sale and after two years, there wasn't really much interest in it. This is when the colony of Transvaal wanted to gift it to the king as a token of the loyalty and attachment of the people and to symbolize good relations between England and South Africa. So they voted on it and the decision was made to purchase the diamond and gift it to the king. The colony actually ended up getting some of that money back that they used to purchase it with because of a 60% mining tax that they had. It was presented to King Edward VII as a gift for his 60 birthday and Edward then decided to have it cut up by a company in Amsterdam and this is how we got all the different stones. The Cullinan II, which is also known as the second star of Africa, weighs 317 carats and is mounted on the imperial state crown. And as you can imagine, it's the most valuable stone on that crown. So the diamond is held in place by a yellow gold enclosure, which is then screwed onto the crown. Here you can see the crown without the diamond on it. And although it is an amazing diamond, it does have some flaws on it, like some scratches and even a small chip. And if you ever want to see a replica of the original Cullinan diamond, you can see it at the Diamond Museum in Cape Town.